Wordle is a word game that became immensely popular in the beginning of 2022, and it's wholly based on five letter words. But what if it used a different number of letters? Six, seven, eight, even more? What if it was a smaller number? Four, three, two? Would it make the game easier or more difficult? Well, in this video, I'll use a Wordle bot to find out. There are many Wordle variations, those that use new media, new game mechanics, new sets of words. The variation I set my eyes upon for this video is Hello Wordle. You can consider it a universal open source Wordle. Apart from being limitless, it features variable word length from 4 to 11 and 3 difficulty levels. Also, let me start with one huge disclaimer. Of course, when playing as a human, to simply come up with a word that is exactly 9, 10 or 11 letters, it's a serious challenge in itself. It's implausible to expect your brain to manufacture them arbitrarily and confidently. But what if we ignore that for a moment and assume you could come up with appropriate words easily? Will the 11-letter wordle still be more difficult or less difficult than the 5-letter one? And to figure it out, I'll use WordleBot, a program that can play wordle games multiple times. This would not be my first attempt at writing a WordleBot. My first one was a simple one. It just kept using the letters it got right, reaching a 90-something percent success rate. In my next attempt, I was after the best possible Wordle algorithm, and the bot painstakingly analyzed top possible guesses in almost every point of the game. That took hours, but ended up in a perfect solution that guaranteed 5-turn victory and an average game length of 3.4 to 1. This time, it is something in between. Simplifying slightly, this is how it works. The bot takes five random guesses and checks which one can produce the highest number of possible answers. That would be its next guess. Check out the perfect Wordle algorithm video for more details. Anyway, with only five guesses to work with, it's a pretty weak bot, to be honest. It could easily be made stronger just by increasing the number of guesses, say to 100, but I want to keep it nerfed intentionally to be a better indicator of how difficult the game is. Let's start with a standard 5-letter wordle. and we have a respectful 97.5% of wins with average game length at 4.2. All right, let's start experimenting. Let's start small, just by adding one letter. Here's the six letter wordle. The success rate is a bit up, 98.7%, and the game length is a bit down, 3.7 attempts. And if you never played 6 letter Wordle before, it feels a little weird when you play it as a human, as you need to bring completely different type of words from your mind. Now for the next one, let's skip a step and try a 8 letter Wordle. This is when it starts to get kinda uncomfortable for human players. Will the bot have the same problem? Of course it will not. Let's have a look. The win rate is 99.9%, there was literally only one word it had a problem with. And I don't want to make any excuses, but that double H was a bit of a curveball. Anyway, you're probably starting to see where this is going. The game is clearly getting easier and easier. So let's crank it up all the way to 11 letters and see what's going to happen. And by the way, playing 11 letters as a human is 
Still fun, kind of, but it's a quite different kind of challenge. Well, not only it won all games without any exceptions, it did it in 4 attempts or fewer, and actually 99% of the time it was fewer. Average length 2.4 attempts. And this answers the titular question. Technically, the longer words Wordle has, the easier it becomes. However, before we turn around and explore the opposite side of the spectrum, one last thing to try. You see, I found this undocumented feature in Hello Wordle. By simple manipulation in the page inspector, you can enable 12, 13, 14 and 15 letter games. Lo and behold, the machine plays the 15 letter Wordle. and it just drives the point home a little bit further, with 96% of words guessed on the second attempt. 2.03 is the average game length for the Wordle the size of 15. Now, if the longer Wordles are being conquered so easily, does it mean that shorter ones would be some tough nuts to crack? Let's find out, starting with a four-letter Wordle. And the answer is, yeah, 75% of wins and the game length is at 4.7. Four-letter Wordle is significantly more challenging than the five-letter one. Which, if you think about it, should not be a surprise. You don't have enough room even to test every letter in the alphabet. Now, can we do three and two word games now? Well, Hello Wordle does not support that. However, looking at the code, I found a list of all the two and three letter words, unfortunately without the curated lists for secret words, so I took it upon myself to filter them, aiming to be somewhat consistent with other secret words lists. Now, since I have those two lists, I could run the simulation. I don't have much to show for it, just some samples of what those games might have looked like. Turns out the hardest wordle is the three-letter wordle, closely followed by two-letter one. To be honest, I kinda saw that coming, but it's still interesting to see your hunch proven to be right. If my previous experience taught me anything, it's that the comment section will leave no stone unturned. And I think this is the great thing about you guys, hope you keep picking apart my videos in all possible ways. Here I already hear the question, wait, but what about a one-letter wordle? Believe it or not, but it's actually a thing that exists, and it's called Wandle. Well, this implementation has only two possible secret words, I and A, making this game an equivalent of a coin toss. Another thing to look at, difficulty level. Normal, meaning no limitations, you can use whatever words you want. And hard, you must keep green letters in their place and reuse yellow letters. There is one extra difficulty level that Hello Wordle offers. Ultra hard. On top of hard rules, you need to move the yellow letter to another position and you cannot use any of the grey letters. Let's enjoy a few rounds.
In my experience, difficulty, especially ultra hard difficulty, can turn the playing experience on its head. I have not quite decided if in a good or in a bad way. But it doesn't have a huge impact on the machine though. Here are the results. Yeah, there is a difference, but nothing to write home about. Final thing, while it has almost no effect on human play, technically the best opening word is a thing. It's the one that will leave you with the smallest number of potential secret words on average. And this is the list of all best openings for all lengths. And this is it for this video. Which word or length you find the most challenging, let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video, if so, like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.